Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back. Today we have uh, something new that um, I have not shown you yet, but it's going to be on 11 by 14 canvas panel. Now this is just a regular canvas panel. It's 100% cotton. It's already gessoed. You can use oil paints on this or acrylic paints. They're wonderful. So what I have done previously, I've done one of these. And what I did was I went and bought an 11 by 14 frame, stuck it in there, and voila, you don't need any glass on it. There's three coats of varnish and you can hang it up just like this, inside, outside, wherever you prefer. Will that also like sit on a table because it has- It can sit on a table. Okay, all right. Yeah. Cool. So today, what I'm going to show you is how I used to paint back home in Illinois. I never used a brush on any of my paintings. Um, that's one of them right there that I've done. What I do is I have my sponge and my water. I have all my paint on a paper plate, not in any order because it's just what my brain tells me to do. These are my paints that I have on the plate, which are all Amsterdam. Sky Blue Light, uh, Pr uh, Parisian uh, Rose. This is Turquoise Blue. So dark in here. Permanent Red Violet. This is Ultramarine Violet. Azo Yellow Medium. And Brilliant Green. What I want to mention is you're showing this, but it's really the first step in doing the project that you're going to be doing. Correct. Because um, the second part is, first part is my base that I'm going to do. My second part is I am doing a heart in a bloom. Then I'm going to hot glue this down on the 11 by 14 canvas uh, panel. Then I'm going to frame it and it's going to end up like a 3D. Ah, cool. All right. So that is my plan. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed that it works. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did this back in Illinois. And this is in no, um, uh, what do I want to say, order. It's just whatever comes so to my you mind. You just have a bucket of water with a couple sponges, okay. Right. And it's, it's a, a straight paint right out of the tubes? Right out of the tubes. Uh, okay. Nothing in it. All right. And you'll see that um, I don't have any order here. It's just whatever goes in my mind. Well, I've never actually watched you do one of these. You did many paintings back when we lived in Illinois for many years, but you you always kept me out of your your painting room. So I've actually never seen you uh, do one of these. Well, actually, you were at work, so you, oh, wouldn't, that's have, true. you yes. wouldn't have seen any of this that's stuff true. going on. And I do a lot of mixing of uh, colors, um, so there's no rhyme nor reason to my colors until I get exactly what I really am looking for, then we'll be finished. So you should clean off your sponge? Um, well, well, whenever I, I feel off, like it. I mean, kind of. Whenever I kind of feel like it. Okay. I'm trying to learn this as we go too. And I mean, you can swirl it, you can, that's why I like the sponge, because you can swirl it. And you don't have to have 
Well, it does you have it any colors that you want. Like a really soft coloration, it seems to me. It does. It's very soft. And then you can just go there from, uh, from there you can just go on and have whatever you really want. I don't really have to do the middle that much. No, you have one end more greenish than the other, it looks like. I do. Okay, all right. Just... I do, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all in the painting. Okay. Sounds good to me. See, I might not even want it that color. Right. So then I change. I well, draw on a little purple. Yes. Okay. But you get you get a lot of different uh, feels for um, uh, this. I don't know if that heart uh, that heart. Have you gone close enough to these two sides? Uh, you don't want that showing. Don't worry, Phil. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm I can worried. tell. You should have watched me back home in Illinois. You would have been a wreck. <laughs> I mean, you would have been a wreck. It's pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little dab of this in there because I like this blue. <laughs> I love doing this. It's so cool. And I mean, you can do whatever color you want. So this is the first step, is, is preparing the uh, panel board, I guess it's called, right? Correct. And then you let that dry for a while, uh, and then you do the heart, or then whatever you else you and, want to put in the... Oh yeah, you don't have to have a heart. Oh, I right. just thought a heart would be kind of cool. Okay. There's some nice rounds you could use, too. Oh, yeah. Can use anything on here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in a little bit. Okay, let me see if I have enough of this covered though. Okay, let's see. Plenty. Plenty, okay. Now. Yeah, back home. I had so much fun doing these. So I just make up colors as I go. But see, I mean, you can put any color you want. Well, that's true. You can you get a lot of variety of colors kind of throughout the... You do. And see this green? I mixed it with white. I mean, I mixed it with yellow, and then I put it on here. <laughs> Well, you're concentrating, that's why you're... Uh, but see how soft it makes it? It makes yeah, it really, it, really it soft. A, a real soft background, which should be, which should complement the bloom on that heart pretty nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm almost finished here with this. Uh, okay. I almost got it where I want it. Now you notice I had all that purple. That's gone. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the nice thing about this. You can keep putting on colors until you get just what you're looking for. And you can cover up any colors that you decide you don't want, apparently. Right. Let me see. Okay. Yep, so that's going to be it. That's going to be that's gonna pretty be cool. It. Okay. So, this is my panel. So This will dry now. So, there's umpteen colors on there that I chose, but see, I didn't use all of them. Well, well yeah, I almost did. I guess, yeah, so pick a variety of colors and... I always and, used uh, them all. And then you can make whatever you want on the end of it if I wanted to put my finger in that. 
but you always want to um, get your sponge wet because it goes on much better wet than dry. And like I said, you can make any type of a design you want with a sponge. That's why I like the sponges. So see, here we go. Okay. Nice soft uh, strokes with the different colors. It's, it's mainly a, a blue and, and a yellow and greenish background you've got there going. Okay. So for my blue colors. Well, why don't we... Let's start that. Are you going to go right into doing the bloom now? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to come back because I'm going to pick out my bloom colors okay. now that I have my background. And we're going to see uh, what that consists of. So, remember, you need a sponge. Bucket. Of, I got this bucket at Home Depot. I use a paper plate. Um, I throw this out. I don't keep this paint. And... You can take whatever brand of paints you want. You need the, uh, you don't want your paints runny. You'd rather have a tube paint so that it's thick. Yes. To go on your canvas. And you can use whatever you want. You, I, I did these as big as what? I mean. Well, you did, I think 40 by 60s yeah. and 40 by 40s. I didn't do any small ones. No. Like I do right. now. Right. They're just all big. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun with a sponge. It's. It was easier for me with a sponge than a brush because I can blend it better. So until part right. two, I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I already put my base down on my heart-shaped 7x7 seven seven canvas, which is a light baby blue to kind of go with my canvas board over there. And my bloom colors that I chose are this little piggy nightfall, golden light green yellow shade with lucky apple primary element pigments, golden iridescent gold chorus with this little piggy harvest gold pigment, golden uh, cadmium yellow with lemon drop primary element pigment, uh, golden medium magenta with watermelon mist primary element pigment, and this little piggy taffy, which is a pigment. So we're going to get started here and do our bloom and see what happens. We don't need a real big one. We just need a little baby one, like this little baby canvas. That is the nightfall. This one is the golden yellow green da 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 with uh, Lucky Apple, Iridescent Gold with Harvest Gold Pigment. It'll all be in the description, so. This is Golden Cadmium Yellow with the Lemon Drop Primary Element Pigment. And don't be afraid to mix your paints and pigments, because you can do that. Golden Magenta, Medium Magenta with Watermelon Mist Primary Element Pigment. And this is little, this little piggy taffy pigment. That should make a pretty colorful bloom. Hopefully it goes really well with our base. Yes. Okay, I gotta see if I got this in the middle. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pop my little bubble. And of course, you know what it's my black magic for my cell activator, which is Floetrol and black Amsterdam paint. Okay. Hey, Abracadabra, make this heart pretty. You ready, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those cells, Phil. Yeah. Whoa. I think this is going to be really kind of pretty. Yeah, me too. I'm really thinking it's going to be pretty. I just got to blow this off, I think. I don't want to get my hair in there. Oh, 
Put a little spin off anyways. Well, is it close enough to that one? That, that edge? I'm going over here. Oh, oh I see. Okay. With my hair. I just have to hold my hair. <laughs> Got a plan ahead here. Well, you know, you could do this blowing because you don't have any hair. Yeah, that's true. You only have to hold your hair back. Okay, I'm not going to wreck it. So, everybody, you need to watch it because I'm not wrecking it. It's got to be a first in a long time that I haven't wrecked. Okay, Abracadabra. Let's see what you got here. I wouldn't go too long one way. No, I'm not. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at it. You got a nice, oh, beautiful is this pretty. blue bloom. Oh, I think it's going to look really pretty on there because these bottom colors, I'm going to bring that over if I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want me here? Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's kind of hard to get it. All in there. I would say here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get it? Mm. I think that's going to be really, really pretty. I like the dark blue contrast with this too. Yes. And these no. colors all kind of match this. Yeah, they do. You're picking up some of those colors. Now, the nice thing about this is you can have a very nice bloom on this heart, and if it doesn't quite match, the board that you did in step one, you can always go back and adjust the colors. Now what I can do is I can actually throw in a little bit of this dark blue yes. in the background if yeah. I want to do that, yeah. which I think I probably will throw in a little bit of it, not much. But I'm loving this. I, I think this turned out really, really pretty. Right. What I'm going to do is after you finish everything and get it all glued together, I'm going to tack the finished project onto the end of this video. Okay, that'll work. Um, so if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, if I can get Phil to uh, get on our tall ladder and get one of my vases down that I uh, painted with my sponge, I will show everybody. Uh, we're going to need the 20-foot ladder, so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But anyways, every painting that I've done here in Illinois that I did back in Illinois was all sponge painting, no brush painting. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, you know, you try a little sponge painting. It's fun. And until the next time, everybody, have a great day. Stay healthy. Bye, alligators. And stay tuned for the finished product. I'll have that Correct. at the end of this video. Correct. Hey, everybody. Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm back to show you my finished creation. Remember? I sponged my canvas panel. I got to go over this way because it's too glary. Then I put a bloom on a seven by seven heart shaped canvas. Then what I did was I took my handy dandy glue gun with my Gorilla glue sticks and I put it all on the inside and stuck it onto my canvas board. This gives you a 3D effect. Yeah, just hold like that, I'll show you. It's not a 3D effect. Okay, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, this turned out really, really nice. I loved how this turned out. And um, I have some great news. Our Amazon shop is now open. Yeah, that's real exciting. That's exciting. So that's really, really exciting. So if you need to get anything, go to our Amazon shop. Phil put a link. You can purchase anything, anything with our link. Well, anything that's on Amazon. Correct. Now, Kathy does have, as she said, she has an Amazon store, which has a bunch of paint pouring uh, products that uh, Kathy uses. So she that's in her actual store. But if there's something you want that is not in her store, you can still get it through her link, um, just right through Amazon. Correct. So that's exciting. Phil worked, oh my gosh, I don't know how many hours putting our shop together our store together. So it's like, whoa, kudos to Phil, or we wouldn't have our shop. So if you like this, how it turned out, it's good right there. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, I think it turned out really, really cool. 
And uh, all I did was put it in a frame and made yeah. it like a 3D. So please subscribe to our channel. We're trying to hit 10,000 by Christmas. We're well on our way. We have over 9,500. Yay! Thank you, everybody. We love you. And um, share this video if you'd like. And like I said, leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We would love to have you join our family. So until the next time, see you later, alligators. Bye.